What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good day to you. And Bears number one draft pick, Caleb Williams, finally signed his rookie contract. Uh, but it didn't come without uh, some proposals from his camp that eventually got shot down. We're going to talk about that in this segment. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the follow button. Earlier in the week, Caleb Williams, Bears number one draft pick, finally signed his four-year, $39 million contract, which, by the way, is fully guaranteed with $25.5 million of that in a signing bonus. But there were two proposals that was holding up him signing this deal. Even though he was attending the rookie mini camps and uh, the OTAs, uh, he asked for a no franchise tag in his rookie deal. A rookie deal is five years. In that fifth year, uh, uh, the team can franchise tag him. So he asked for that. Uh, Bear said no not gonna do that so here's the other one that could be part of some player trying to get this done in the near future if the collective bargaining agreement between the players in the nfl when they do their new deal he wanted to be paid as a llc that is caleb williams and what is a llc that is a limited liability company uh as far as the state of illinois llc's have zero income tax filing requirements meaning williams wouldn't have to pay taxes on his four-year contract worth $39 million. Another attempt that Williams Camp also tried to do was make his earnings a forgivable loan, which would have resulted in Williams getting the money tax-free until the loan was forgiven as many as 10 years into the future, according to reports. The Bears, according to uh, Florio, Mike Florio with the Pro Football Talk, says, they went to the NFL with both of these proposals, finding no evidence they were invalid in the NFL CBA. Again, a collective bargaining agreement. But the league nixed both of the play uh, of the proposals. The NFL told the Bears that players' money can't go to a business entity other than the player. Per the report, there was no reason given for why the league asked the idea of a forgivable loan. So again, Caleb Williams and his camp. They were trying to be creative when it came to getting this money, so we want to pay no tax or less tax as possible. And you know what? I don't blame her. I think most Americans, the average person like myself, don't nobody want to pay no taxes. Don't nobody want to pay Uncle Sam. I get that. So if you can find a way to create these LLCs or whatever these companies and, uh, and, and get away from paying as less tax as possible, why not? So again, obviously the NFL is probably going to have to really look into this, but they nixed it as far as the LLC and a forgivable loan, but don't think that this may not come back up in the near future. And oh, by the way, Caleb Williams' dad, Carl, he has worked uh, for years in commercial real estate, so I know he knows the ins and outs of the tax codes. And so, you know what? What's that saying? Yeah, closed mouth don't get fed. So they, they tried it and, and, and it did, do, didn't work. But don't think that this is going away anytime soon. And by the way, we all know uh, Caleb Williams. Uh, there were uh, reports out prior to him even going to the NFL that he and his team were looking to buy a, per, a percentage uh, into a team. They wanted that in his rookie deal. So they were already thinking of trying to get creative ways to get uh, Mr. Williams to get money and to pay as less tax on it as well. So I'd like to know what you guys think about this story. Make sure you talk to me in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that follow button. I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side and on the next report. I am out. Peace.